want to make sure you feel safe in this space. Mm -hmm. With the best! With the thief! Do you feel safe with the thief next to you? Right over there. You're a little hamburger. You're a little hamburger. My oh. culture is not a costume. <laughs> Fast food, a stand or the internet? Let's get into it. You want a hamburger? Yes. No, I want a hamburger. No, mine. But as Jackie, you can have those. So if this is your first time watching Stan versus the internet, how this is gonna work, we are going to ask Spencer, our Stan today, a question. He's going to have 30 seconds to answer that question. If he is unable to answer that question in 30 seconds, then it will pass over to the internet. Our internet, Olivia, will have 30 seconds to try and find that answer on the internet. That's why she has a computer in front of her. Spencer, you eat a lot of fast food, yes? That is correct. Yes, if you do fast food, you do like fast casual, like Olive Garden, Chili's, where, yeah. Uh, for those, I'll get them delivered, and I'll usually pick up, I, I love a drive through moment. Oh, Anywhere okay. Anywhere with a drive through Oh, wow, a traveler, awesome. Yeah. And over here we have, <laughs> over here we have Olivia playing as the internet. Yes. Do you also eat fast food, Olivia? Not really. <laughs> What's your favorite food to eat, Olivia? Um, like rocks and, Spoons. Oh wow, you must get a lot of minerals. <laughs> You're not the only one with fast little fingers. <laughs> That's true. Made for I... eating all those little freaking french fries. Yeah. yeah, I've been practicing. Yeah, we all finger french fries here. Nah. First question, Spencer. How are you feeling? Let's check in. I'm very nervous. Really? Why? Yeah. Uh, Is it because I'm a thief? Because we've done like 30 of these and I haven't been on it yet. Yeah. And so like, you know, if I f up, I'm going to go with like these three other losers here. Oh. Sorry, four okay. losers. Oh. Well, they're not losers. The internet's just a winner. Yeah. They're not losers. They're just um, Damien, Shane, Courtney. <laughs> All right, Spencer. First question. What is the name of the large purple villain in the McDonald's character universe? Spencer, that's you. It's gonna be Grimace. That's right! Yes. See? Yeah, yeah, here he is. Yes. Here he is. You were so worried. There's nothing to worry about. You eat so much fast food. <laughs> Next question. This cult favorite fast food chain was the first to introduce the revolutionary two-way speaker box to drive throughs back in 1950. I mean, there's there's one. It's gonna be In-N-Out? It's In-N-Out! Okay, he gets in, he gets out, okay. We get it! Are you ready for this next question? Yes. Are you feeling confident? Yeah. You feeling I, good, warmed yeah. up? Great. Florida alert! Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> Originally, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Originally advertised as a harbor for seafood lovers, this chain opened in 1968 in Lakeland, Florida. So there's two fast food chains. There's Long John Silver's and there's uh, and there's Captain D's. Mm -hmm. I don't think they would do a Captain D's question. I say Long John Silver. Long John Silver yeah. is your answer? Yeah. And you are from Florida, right? Yes. Were you from Hollywood, Florida? Were you no, from? I'm from Niceville, Florida. You're from Niceville, Florida? Yes. Um, this is not too nice for you. You got it wrong. <laughs> Olivia, yes. you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. What year was it? 1968. Internet. It's Red Lobster. It's Red Lobster! <laughs> I was too smart for that one. You were. You really were giving us too much information that nobody asked for. Ben Affleck notoriously enjoys this quick service coffee spot. This is too easy. It's Duncan, right? Yes, Duncan! Uh, ben Affleck, talk about... Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> what? Want to fillet his okay, fish? That, what, what? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> but, but no. <laughs> All right, next question. Which fast food chain is credited with the widespread creation of the hamburger bun? They invented the hamburger bun? Yeah, bro, somebody had to do it. So I'm think I mean, I'm thinking Wendy's because they have like this, like they feel like an old, old, old mm -hmm. chain. Mm -hmm. Watch it be like Burger King. I guess I'm gonna... Wendy's? Can you do that again with more confidence? What is Wendy's? It goes to the internet! I didn't know, I thought it was always there. Just like the bun? Yeah. Like, like cheeks. <laughs> yeah. 
White Castle. That is correct! Whoa! That feels very regional, you know what I'm saying? Did you know that? Um, no. <laughs> Next question. Carl's Jr., also known as Hardee's, started as a simple, this is a multiple choice, so don't even worry about it, I got you. A, ice cream shop. B, carnival game. C, hot dog cart. D, magazine stand. I mean, magazine stand kind of makes sense. Uh, mm -hmm. Why does it make sense? A magazine named Wendy's? <laughs> Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. Or and like, Carl's, you know, sorry, like they were Carl's there, like Jr. maybe they started, they sold magazines, then they were like, oh, we fry up some burgers in the back and mm -hmm. toss them out. <laughs> Uh, you know what, but like, I'm gonna go for the wild card. I'm gonna say it was a carnival game. Carnival game. Yeah. It goes to the internet. Okay, I got it. A hot dog cart. It's right, it's a hot dog cart. Oh. I mean, who is impressed by my search? That was efficient. You have very fast fingers. Woo. Thank you. You're welcome. Woo, woo, woo. Florida alert! Beautiful Clearwater, Florida is home to the original of which iconic restaurant chains? <sighs> what do you say, TGI Fridays? <laughs> it goes to the internet! What you um, got? BJ's? That is incorrect! No points for the stand, no points for the internet. This restaurant chain is the tits. The answer is Hooters! Woo! Oh my god. Next question. Chipotle's celebrity card gives the card holder what privilege? It's free Chipotle for a year? Yeah! That's right! Yes! So, Spencer, look. If y'all don't know this about Spencer, every day, Spencer Agnew drinks a Mountain Dew. What time of day do you start drinking Mountain Dew? It's a Mountain Dew Kickstart. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really tasty. And, and, nine, it is. and 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Mountain Dew Kickstart. Some people do coffee, some people don't. <laughs> the question is, what is the actual flavor of Mountain Dew Baja Blast? It's not watermelon. No, it's not watermelon. <laughs> it, it's not. Okay. Because they would probably be like pink. Yeah. So it's I like think a... it's ginger. No, it's not. You're wrong. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, Hit it. Go for it. Uh, That's not the flavor. Yeah, not the flavor, uh, dude. Um, it goes to the internet. I'm trying to think of fruits. I don't know any fruits. <laughs> Go off, queen. The flavor of a Mountain Dew block. <laughs> Baja Blast is Tropical Lime. That's correct! Uh, I was gonna say, would citrus have counted? Probably I not. I wouldn't have. Yeah. I would have wanted something more specific. Next question! KFC is famous for its secret recipe, composed of how many herbs and spices? I'm trying to, like, cause I, I'm trying to get it straight with Dr. Pepper, cause Dr. Pepper's like, oh, it's like X amount of flavors. Oh yeah, you get it totally. 49. No, it's really? Not. 23. Okay, 23. Uh, um, what do you say, 17? 17? It goes to the internet! <laughs> okay. Go the answer internet. is 11 herbs and spices. Damn it! <gasps> That's correct! Mm. You were close though, you were just off by six. How are you feeling? I feel, I feel good. Okay, okay, I wanna make sure you feel safe in this space. Mm -hmm. With the death, with the thief. Do you feel safe with the thief next to you? Right over there. You're a little hamburger. You're a little hamburger. My oh. culture is not a costume. <laughs> the holiday season is upon us once again. And here at Smosh, that means something special. <laughs> The next question. <laughs> Taco Bell commercials in the 1990s largely featured a chihuahua by the name of Gidget, whose famous catchphrase was... Kiro Taco Bell or Yo Kiro Taco Bell? That's correct! Good job! If it had been his name, I would have missed it. I said Gidget. <laughs> I was like, move. <laughs> next question. Which US fast food spot is known as Hungry Jack's in Australia. If you don't know this one, you're not a real fast food. I don't. Australia. I've never been to Australia. 
What's Jack want to eat? <laughs> is it Jack in the box? <laughs> to the internet! Go ahead, internet. This is actually crazy because I got it right earlier. It's Subway. It's Burger King. Whoa! You need to listen to women! <laughs> <laughs> Next question! <laughs> Which chain successfully delivered to the International Space Station in 2001? What would they want? Exactly. What would you want if you were an astronaut? I'd want Panda Express. Mm. Okay. This is what I would want if uh -huh. I were in space? Go ahead. McDonald's. Let's go to the internet! <laughs> I've never been to space. Me. Sue me. All right. Go off. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut! That is correct! I guess the delivery aspects, like, that makes sense. Next question! <laughs> Name the four shapes of the McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. You got this. I know you know this. I could draw what them. What the heck? Do you want me to draw That's them? dynamic. Those things have shapes? They do. Yeah. Go I ahead. I mean, I don't know the names, but there's the one that, like, like you can hold, like, a gun. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Okay, okay. It's the Benjamin. Uh-huh. The, the Buffalo. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The, the bison. Mm -hmm. oh. Not to be confused with the buffalo and what? the bungalow. Oh. Yes. That is going to the internet. Go ahead, Olivia. The bone, the boot, the ball, the bell. That's correct. Very nice. What, do you have a McDonald's order? Yeah. What's yours? Oh, uh, I like a filet fish, filet o fish mm -hmm. with um, just like no sauce and um, some McNuggets. That's nice. And yeah. like extra crispy unsalted fries. Um, <laughs> hey. What? It's nothing. That sounds like, do you get a drink? Because that sounds dry. <laughs> <laughs> the, whole, the whole thing sounds dry. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a drink, yeah. What drink do you get? Maybe like a big cup of milk or something. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Next question! <laughs> woo, woo, woo woo Florida alert! The first ever Olive Garden opened in 1982 in which city? I mean, it's, I, look, I have two guesses. Okay. It's gonna, like, the, literally the biggest city in Orlando, and I think in the United States by landmass, is, is Jacksonville. Orlando is a hub to many cuisines. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah, Epcot. Okay. Yeah. You can get anything there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Orlando. Orlando, yes! That is right! Yes! And when you're here, you're... Family. Eating at Olive Garden. <laughs> Next question! Which of these is not a feature of Taco Bell's Las Vegas location? This is multiple choice, I got you. When was the last time you went to Vegas? Never been to Vegas. Okay, the first choice is A, a VIP lounge. B, customizable alcoholic drinks. C, a wedding chapel. And D, an Elvis impersonator. I think it's gonna be D, Elvis impersonator. I think they have everything there. I don't think they have an Elvis impersonator. Mm -hmm. That's correct! Yes. Wow, I did not see him. I went to, is this the cantina? I yeah. did not see that man there. Well, he was, because he's not there. He's not there. That... <laughs> I see. <laughs> wheel, 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 wheel! Florida alert! Which beloved fast food chain started in Jacksonville, Florida? Multiple choice. I got you. Don't even worry about it. A, McDonald's. B, Arby's. C, Burger King. D, Taco Bell. Beloved. Makes me think it's not Arby's. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna have to say Arby's. Internet! I'll be, I'm, wow. I will have walked away with a greater knowledge of my home state. Yes. Internet. Burger King! Uh -huh. It's a Burger King! Yes, queen, it's Burger King! Yeah! Next question. The first ever Bitcoin transaction involved a man buying two large Papa John's pizzas for how many Bitcoin? This is you. You do Bitcoin. You do? I know that about you. You what got you the bits. Do? You got the coins. How many Bitcoins? I didn't know you could have this many. 
Say 10 Bitcoin. Would you like to multiply? A hundred Bitcoin. <laughs> Would you like to multiply? A thousand Bitcoin. <laughs> Internet, go off! <laughs> I'm just gonna say 10,000. That's correct! <laughs> it's 10,000 Bitcoin! The founder of Popeyes jokingly claimed that the reason there is no apostrophe in the fast food chain's name is because... They ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia! <laughs> well, it's because when the founder first started out, he couldn't afford the apostrophe. That is correct! Whoa. The founder of Wendy's got his start working for which fast food chain company? An entrepreneur on the loose? <laughs> I, I think it's probably McDonald's. McDonald's? I think so. It could be Chipotle. I'm trying to think of like what might have existed before. Like I'm trying to think of like early, early yeah. like fast food Sweet restaurants. Sweet totally. Sweet green. Uh, and McDonald's is like kind of their earliest. I'm not, you don't need to convince me. Don't worry about that. I'm saying, guess again. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the uh, Jacksonville, Florida establishment Burger King. Olivia, what is it? Five seconds, four. That's it. Um, okay, the answer is KFC. You don't get that one. Why not? Because <laughs> I counted down and you hadn't buzzed in yet. Well, your counting was fast. Are you trying to fight me? Uh, I don't want to fight you. You're scary. Next question. Back in 2012, a chicken McNugget resembling which U.S. president sold on eBay for over $8,000? Had to either be like really recent and around that time or Abraham Lincoln or George Washington. The John F. Kennedy nugget. <laughs> Don't underestimate Woodrow Wilson. You're right. The Taft nugget. Don't say Obama. I guess let's say George Washington. That's your no. final answer? I take... Don't take it back. Be confident as George Washington! <laughs> I need to see that nugget. This is our final question. Woo! Florida alert! No, it's not actually Australian. Outback Steakhouse was founded in which Florida city? Whoa. <laughs> 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 uh, it's giving Tampa? That's correct! Yay! Yay! You got the final question! Wow. I, I swear to God, I think I knew that it was started in Tampa because, like, it was absolutely one of, it was, mm -hmm. no, it wasn't even one of, it was my favorite restaurant growing up. Really? And I, like, wanted, like, I wanted to, like, own my own Outback Steakhouse. That's and okay, I, you look like you could. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry, Stan Spencer. You did not win today, but it is clear to all of us that you do have a ton of fast food knowledge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do, in fact, have this that I stole, a little button with Spencer's face on it, and I will place it upon the board now. Aww. Aww. It's because there weren't any chilies questions. Chilies, baby back ribs. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching Stan vs. the Internet over here on the Smosh Pit channel. Whoa! If this is your first time on the Pit channel, oh my gosh, you're in for such a treat. We have so many videos. We have two more videos down here. Let us know what you loved, what you enjoyed, where's your favorite fast food place. Also, let us know if there's other stands, other topics we should cover so we can see this happen again with a different stand and maybe a little different internet. Who knows? Ooh, gotta go! Silly. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>